Stuck at home? Make the most of the internet with NordVPN. As you're trying out new apps to save you from boredom, NordVPN will make sure that your data is always protected. And you can still travel, well, virtually, by connecting to VPN servers in almost 60 countries. Up for a new gaming challenge? Make sure that cyber threats don't get in your way. Feeling curious? Access the news from all over the world firsthand. NordVPN, online security starts with a click. Today's episode is called, Bobby Joe's Sorority. Bobby Joe must accomplish a seemingly impossible feat in order to qualify for membership in Hooterville High School's only sorority. Guest star, Bobby Pickett guest stars from Green Acres, Eddie Albert as Oliver Douglas, and Ava Gabor as Lisa Douglas. Original air date, October 26, 1965. Come ride the little train that is rolling down the tracks to the junction. Forget about your cares, it is time to relax at the junction. Lots of curves, you bet, and even more when you get to the junction. Petticoat Junction. There's a little hotel called the Shady Rest at the junction. Petticoat Junction. It is run by Kate. Come and be her guest at the junction. Petticoat Junction. And that's Uncle Joe. He's a moving kind of slow at the junction. Petticoat Junction. just wanted to make sure Bobby Joe wants to tell you something. Yes. What uh, was she... it? I haven't been able to tell her yet. Why not? Because... Go on, Bobby Joe. Well, I've been nominated for Omicron Epsilon Pi. I'll be out on the porch if you need me. I'll put the water on the boil. Hey, I just remembered. I left my glove in my lunchbox. <laughs> Fine family. I came home with the most important thing that's ever happened to me, and nobody wants to listen. Well, honey, I want to listen. And I think it's just wonderful that you were nominated to the... Uh, Harmion, uh, Harmion, uh, Epsilon... Whatever it is. Omicron Epsilon Pi. <laughs> you know, it's just wonderful to be able to say it. <laughs> what is it? It's Hooterville High's most exclusive sorority. Not only that, it's the only one. Oh, that's great. One, two... Of course, I'm not really a full-fledged member until I take my initiation. Well, they must want you or they wouldn't have nominated you. Lots of girls have been nominated but didn't pass the initiation. Like last year, poor Eloise McElroy had to wear a potato sack to school. On the very day she had to recite the ancient mariner in assembly. Wasn't that awful? Yeah, it was awful. <laughs> Wonder what I'll have to do. What are we going to make Bobby Joe do? 
I still don't think she's Omicron Epsilon Pi material. Henrietta, you're just jealous because Bobby Joe beat you in the spelling bee contest last month. That has nothing to do with it. Girls, look. There he is. Hi, Stonewall. Hi, Stonewall. Hi, Henrietta. Hi, Stonewall. <laughs> She's pathetic. <laughs> she sure is. Stonewall isn't interested in anything but athletics. Well, he isn't going to pay any attention to Henrietta, even if she is shaped like a hockey stick. <laughs> I saw the game a week ago. Saturday. Oh, remember? Yeah, I was in it. Did you get my note? What note? The one I slipped you in history class. <laughs> <laughs> Which one is yours? <laughs> about a Thursday night. I thought you could come over to my place and we could listen to some records. Gee, uh, I don't know. My pesty brother won't be home. He's going to that basketball game over at Crabwell Corners. Hey, that's right. You'll be over? Yeah, tell your brother I'll pick him up at 7.30. <laughs> Are you going out with him Saturday night? I could. If I wanted to. Nobody's ever gotten a date with Stonewall. Let's get back to Bobby Joe. What about her initiation? I know. If she really wants to prove that she's worthy of our sorority, let her get a date with Stonewall Jackson. Oh, but she wouldn't have a chance. Hi, girls. Bobby Joe. <laughs> oh, hi, Bobby Joe. There's some fresh made ice cream in the freezer. <laughs> Joe, what's wrong? Everything. No fever. Stick out your tongue. No, Mother, leave me alone. You know what? It must be that virus that's been going round. It's worse than the virus. Well, next run of the cannonball, I'm taking you into town and let Doc Stewart have a look at you. It's no use, Mom. This is beyond medical science. <laughs> <laughs> Who is he? Oh. Pixley boy? Crabble Corners? Hooterville? Hooterville! The boys from Hooterville. Uh, tall boy. Short boy. Freckle boy? Tall, short, freckle boy. Uh, tell me, uh, Fenton Kincaid. Mother! Oh, of course not. Fenton Kincaid's only nine years old. <laughs> Could be Walter Brubaker. It's Stonewall Jackson. And I have to get a date with him. Well, what's so hard about that? But why do you think they call him Stonewall? No girl can get a date with him. Wanna bet? <laughs> Not even you. Uh, 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 I'll take half that bet. I got a great deal of confidence in your sister. Well, even if she can, what good would it do me? I'll just tell him I'll go out with him on one condition. That he takes you out first. I should have never let you talk me into this. Oh, don't make such a federal case out of it. After all, he's just a boy. But you don't know Stonewall. He's not interested in the opposite sex. Up till now, he hasn't met any girl who's this opposite. <laughs> Point him out. He's the one throwing the football to Red Nelson. Now, pay attention. Now I ask you, how could a guy miss it? It was right in his mitts. Perhaps something distracted his attention. Well, he didn't see anything I didn't see. I don't think you've met. I'm Billy Joe Bradley. Billy Joe Bradley? Oh, you've heard of me. Yeah, your kid sister plays shortstop for the Hooterville Hawks. You know, I was just thinking. For the first time in six months, I've got a Saturday night open. You have? Come to think of it, so have I. Well, you have a Saturday night open, and I have a Saturday night open. Yeah. It would be a shame to waste it, wouldn't it? Well, I'm not going to waste it. I'll get Chunky McGurk and play some handball. My reflexes are getting kind of slow. Slow? I've got news for you, Mr. Jackson. They're dead. <laughs> Bring in 
request of Stonewall Jackson. You lost. <laughs> you mean that he didn't... Mother, I don't want to talk about it. All right, dear, we won't talk about it. Uh, we're having pickled beets with the fried chicken tonight, and for dessert, well, you know something, that young man must have been kicked in the head at spring training. Yes, and summer and fall and winter. He's impossible. I've never been so humiliated. I'd never even have talked to that adolescent if I weren't trying to help you. Well, it was your idea. I thought we weren't going to talk about it. Well, what aren't we going to talk about? We're not going to talk about Stonewall Jackson. That's what we're not going to talk about. <laughs> Well, why aren't we going to talk about Stonewall Jackson? Because he's impossible. And besides, he's stupid. He isn't stupid. Well, once I was having trouble snagging grounders. Then he came along, and in two minutes, he showed me what I was doing wrong. And you know what I was doing wrong? I was too slow getting my glove. And Betty Jo, please. We're not interested in your old grounders. Betty Jo, you just hit a home run. I did? Of course. And now I know why you two struck out. Huh? You can get anything out of a man if you just use the right approach. What do you mean? You gotta speak his language. But he's only interested in sports, and I don't know anything about them. <laughs> Classes start right after supper. Don't be late. <laughs> Got it now, Bobby Joe? I think so. Okay, now let's go through the football lineup once again. In the middle is the center. On either side of him is uh, the right guard and the left guard. Well, that's very good, Bobby Joe. Keep going. Next is the, the right tackle and the left tackle. And right behind the center, waiting for the ball, is shortstop. <laughs> oh, no, shortstop is baseball. The quarterback. Now, the mustard here is the center. The salt shaker is the right guard. Pepper is the left guard. Right behind the center, is the quarterback. Well, Uncle Joe, the quarterback's diluting the gravy. <laughs> now, what position does Stonewall Jackson play? Uh, right touchdown. <laughs> oh, no. Left touchdown. <laughs> Bobby, I guess I'm just gonna have to keep you in after school. What record did Stonewall break last year? Pole vaulting. What was the record? 14 feet, 8 inches. Good, good. Now, in the baseball playoff last season, how many innings did he pitch without giving up a hit? Uh, seven. You're doing fine. Now, what record is he going for this year? Shot put. No, I mean discus. Right. Do you know the difference between a shot put and a discus? Well, a shot put is like this. <laughs> and, um, a discus is like this. <laughs> no, that's not the way to do it. It's like this. First, you spin to get up momentum. And then at the proper moment, you... <laughs> You're supposed to put the dishes back in the cupboard by hand. <laughs> 1922 to 1926. <laughs> now, what famous sports event is held in Poughkeepsie? Yeah, yeah, what do they do in Poughkeepsie? <laughs> Don't show us, tell us. Oh. oh, don't conk out on us now. Please, I'm so tired. It's the 1932 Olympics. What sports event did Bronislav Wolochevsky switch to after winning all the weightlifting events? Yeah, yeah, well, what sports did, uh, uh, what's his name shift to? Come on now, quit stalling. You know it, Bobby Joe. What sport? Water polo. <laughs> don't quit. Now, it's Hooterville and Pixley. Third down, 30 yards to go, and two minutes left to play. Now, what did Stonewall do to win the game? Yeah, what did Stonewall Jackson do? <laughs> he threw the half back out at first and let me get some sleep! <laughs> hey, Betty Jo. Hi. Well, Bobby Jo. I suppose you've got your date all lined up with Stonewall Jackson? Well, I... Go ahead. You just get my sorority pin ready and let me worry about Stonewall. Well, you haven't much time left. Deadline's less than three days away. Girls, I'm afraid we haven't been fair to Bobby Joe. Why, it's asking a... a sparrow to lure a peacock. Well, <laughs> both <laughs> Boy, that Henrietta. When they were handing out mean disposition, she came back for seconds. <laughs>
takes the 315 from the ice plant where he works every Saturday. And you'll be on a train like you were going into town to play tennis. Sure, you two make it sound so simple. But right now, my knees are shaking, and I know I'm going to forget everything. Oh, forget about your knees and shake up your mind. Ask her a question. Uh, who won the National Junior AAU Pole Vault Championship in 1948? Bob Smith, San Diego State. Father Ralph won it in 1927, and his Uncle Harry took the title in 1925. You've got nothing to worry about. Get going. I can do it in front of you and Mom. But when I'm with Stonewall, I'll turn to jelly inside. <laughs> the train's in. Oh, All right. Come on. Good luck. Wish she had more confidence. Well, let's face it, she just doesn't. Well, Betty Jo, I guess it's up to you. I know. Plan A. <laughs> You'll never get no date this way. Go down and sit by him. Won't that be awfully obvious? The only two of us on the train. Well, me and Charlie made sure of that. You should have heard the hollering and fussing when we put those other passengers off at Bleaker's Creek. Now get next to him. Tennis. Well, with how could you with 
football, baseball, basketball, javelin throwing, paw vaulting, discus. You know, you're the first girl I've met who's ever made any sense. <laughs> Joe wanted to get in the sorority, she'd have to get a date with Stonewall Jackson. Which is practically impossible, but I got one because he's interested in sports and everybody taught me all about sports. But sports are no good. Don't look at it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Could I have that again, please? The whole thing? No, yeah, just the last part. Well, the words are no good enough. She doesn't look at me because one of the most important things a man knows me about. Lisa. Yes, darling. Would you come out here, please? Yes. Oh, hello, girl. Hi, hi. Uh, you're trying to ask me something, but I can't quite figure out what it is. What's the problem? Well, Bobby Joe has a date with... And she wants to borrow a dress. <laughs> yes, ma'am. How did you determine that? Woman stole. Come along, girls. Let's see what we can find. <laughs> Yes, darling, and take any one you want. How about this one? Oh, no. This is more for after you are married to the man. Oh, what kind of a fellow is this? Well, he's very athletic. He likes sports and football and baseball. Well, I'm afraid I haven't got anything to offer for a football player, but, oh, this will do for any kind of man. Are you sure it'll work? This is the one I caught Mr. Douglas with. It was the green one. <laughs> <laughs> darling, you remember. <laughs> Tell it to me again. Oh, Mom, I've already told it to you three times. <coughs> You're right, four times. <laughs> Just once more. Uh, about the part where Bobby Jones Stonewall get off the train right in front of Sam's store, and there's Henrietta and the sorority girls, and, well, you, you go on. And it couldn't have worked out better, because where do you suppose Stonewall asked Bobby Joe for a date? Right in front of Henrietta Watson. <laughs> you get to the part about the jelly donut. Oh, Mom. Well, Henrietta was eating this jelly donut. And when Stonewall asked Bobby Joe for a date, Henrietta almost died. And then... And then she squeezed the donut so hard, she squirted jelly all over Sandra's class. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby Joe certainly did look lovely tonight, didn't she? That was nice of Mrs. Douglas to lend her that dress. Sure was. Oh, I just hope she and Stonewall run into Henrietta when they're on their way to... Where did he say they were going tonight? We didn't. Probably some quiet, romantic spot where they can be alone. And he'll be whispering sweet nothings into her ear. No, no, Bobby Joe. You bring the shut up to this position. <laughs> I'll let her fly. Get down, boy. I hope Bobby Joe's having a good time. <laughs> With a swell-looking boy like Stonewall, she must be walking on air. <laughs> All right, you can come down now. <laughs> Stonewall will try to kiss her? If he does, I hope she remembers what Billy Joe taught her and plays hard to get. No, Stonewall. Maybe next time. Please. Oh, all right. <laughs> you just hold the ball like that and let her go. Stonewall and Bobby Joe should be sitting in the Pixley ice cream parlor having a double chocolate banana colossus. Yeah, and as they sit there gazing into each other's eyes, I'll bet athletics is the furthest thing from their minds. Mom, she's home. Bobby Joe. Oh, my goodness. I didn't hear the cannonball. We didn't take the cannonball. You didn't? When Stonewall Jackson says he's going to run you home, he runs you home. <laughs> Secretary.
secretary of the membership committee, I bestow this pin, thereby inducting you, Bobby Joe Bradley, into Omicron Epsilon Pi. Thank you. I had a speech already, but I... Oh, never mind the speech. How was your date with Stonewall Jackson? Tell us how it was. <laughs> Girls, you wouldn't believe it. You're going to go steady with him? Well, since Henrietta was responsible in a way for my meeting Stonewall, I thought the least I could do was get her date with him. Oh, there she is. <laughs> now, as soon as you heal up, we'll go right back out there and try that pole vault again. <laughs> Junction. Junction.